once more to Wangathat Wednesday. I tell you, what am I not giving a fuck about today? Hello, hello, hello. Do, do you know what I did today? Do you know what I did today? Speaking of things I don't give a fuck about, yes? I watched TV. And? So it was to make me smarter. Oh, God, how did that work out for you? Well, I, I wanted bubbles on my head, but it didn't work. I wanted to be... And so I watched TV, and I watched the news, and there was a girl on it, and she was saying, hop, 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 stuff about Syria, hop, 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 the weather, hop, hop, hop. And then I kept watching, and there was Parliament on, because smart people watch Parliament question time yeah. before Bananas in Pyjamas. <laughs> which I might have wanted to see, but let that go because I was going, I'm going to be smart and watch. And then I was watching and then the government with the chick with the red hair, Julia, and she was giving, she went on first night, and then she said, oh, 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 the economy's going really good. And then the opposition said, nah. And then Julia said, nah, check it out, I've got paper with words on. And the, and the opposition said, Oh, I see. And then, and then what happened was Christopher Pine jumped up. You know what? And if you really want AZ to explain parliamentary procedure in Australia, and he's 100% accurate, you can. Go to Less Angry Aussie, and I'll let him explain the whole thing to you. But really, what happened? As soon as he said the name Christopher Pine, the red mist came down. I know I express my disgust for politicians all the time, and I know I tend to say it more about conservative politicians, but Christopher fucking Pine is just his stupid little smug monkey face every time he gets in front of a camera. All I can think of is how much his face would be improved if my fist went straight through and came out the other side of his fucking head and sprayed his Tiny little excuse for a brain across a wall, which would probably make him fucking smarter. Anyway, nah, it just, nah. he is the epitome. He's like uh, some horrible little private school prefect whose one disappointment in life is he stopped being ritually caned once he left school. Except when you see the way he winks at other members of his party, I think it probably still does go on in the party room. But it's like, he's so annoying! He drives me so crazy when he appears on some like panel shows, like there's a good one we have here called Q&A, and I always think the person sitting next to him has some sort of Jedi self-control, they're like an ultimate Zen master. How the fuck else are they not choking him? How are they not reaching across the screen? For God's sake, you're making humanity stupider just by existing! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Christopher Pine, just please shut up! And anyway, the entire debacle just is a catalogue of things I don't give a fuck about. This big, ooh, Australia Day, the Aborigines write it. The barely concealed racism in the responses to this, it wasn't a fucking riot. They were a bit noisy, they did freak out the feds and the Prime Minister's bodyguard, who you could say in retrospect, overreacted, but I don't hold it against them. They've got a job to do. They don't want to get boxed in. But the people who want to talk about like it was, oh, the collapse of society, a riot. What sort of fucking riot leaves the only evidence of dirty fingerprints on some fucking glass? There was not a single arrest, okay? There wasn't a riot. It wasn't dangerous. It wasn't out of control. Shut the fuck up and get a clue, you fucking idiots who won't let this go. Who gives a fuck? Oh, um, you only care because it was black fellas scaring you for fuck's sake! And the way the fucking opposition wants to keep dragging out, who oh, no, someone in your party ratted us out and tried to make... Probably, yes, and that's probably why he got sacked! But I, I even... I don't give a fuck that they're using this as a political football. Because that's what politicians do. I don't hold it against them. That's politics. But it's like, if all this stuff... Could just, it's just like a shit sandwich of shit I don't give a fuck about. And the one thing I want to do is take this colossal shit sandwich, compact it down, and then jam it down Christopher fucking Pine's throat! You're right, that is something I don't give a fuck about.